You know, the first person in the world that, that talked about talked about the chip issue was me, right? I issued a press release with a two hundred million dollar reserve. And and in fact our customers were saying, Jensen, why are you doing that? Well, the reason for that is this. It's really simple. They our customers were let's not you know, what are you doing? You're, you're issuing a press release, and then all of a sudden the press is going to ask you. Well, here here's comes the logic. Um, and and it's, it's impeccable. It's logical. It's just messy. Okay? Um, the logic is impeccable. Uh, we know that that uh, there are some failures that are associated with our chips. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, we know that it's related to specific combination of the chip, the design of the, the notebook, and, and notebooks, because of the thermal environments, tends to be more rigorous, tends to be more challenging. And depending on the design of the thermal thermal solution, which is the, the, the it starts with a thermal interface material, uh, a heat pipe, and then the heat the heat the fan, and its location next to the CPU and the, and the fan sinks and all the vents and okay, depending on all that stuff, and all the software that goes on top of it for modulating all of this power, sometimes it will fail. So. Most of the notebooks are fine. My notebook is just fine. Right? Most of the notebooks are fine. It's just that certain no notebooks have this problem. And so, well, the problem is, if you have this problem, what do you do? You either let the consumer um, work it out with the OEM, or you say this. You go to the, I go to the OEM and I tell the OEM, let's fix that. No questions asked. Let's just go solve it. In fact, I'll put a reserve in place so that if you were to solve it, I'll pay you back. Now, I just sold a chip for $20, and I might have to spend $200 to help repair a notebook. Just think about that for a second. Nobody has ever done that. <laughs> Nobody has ever done that. Marvell's never done that, and they've had issues. Broadcom's never, they've had issues. Maybe they've, you know, this particular issue is, is pretty industry-wide known. And the reason for that is I just don't want the consumers to have to fight the process. And so if you take a look at the number of chips that we've shipped, it's in millions, in hundreds of millions. And if you just did the math that I just talked about, we're talking about a very small percentage. I just wanted to make sure that we put put it out there that if a consumer wants it repaired, um, they should get it repaired. Well obviously all the OEMs now believe it, believe that to be the right right thing to do as well. And it's a little bit a little bit messy because you know the competition wants to stir it up and there's people who want to stir it up. But it's not really that complicated in the end. I mean, we're seeing a higher than 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 uh, what we would like to see uh, failure rate. And uh, but if the consumer has a failure, we'll, re we'll replace that um, uh, and get it fixed right away. Okay. So uh, I was the first to talk about. I guess it. the question is who's to blame? Uh, you know, first of all, first of all, we use an industry standard process. How we manufacture the chip is like, identical to a whole lot of companies. And, and this particular bump, bump uh, material and underfill material has been used to produce billions and billions of chips, not millions of chips. It's just that there's a, there's a happy circumstance or unhappy circumstance that just happens to be exactly right on power, thermal, that kind of just kind of hit that spot. Um, and, and so uh, who ultimately, the way I look at it is there's nobody to blame, okay? But who's responsible? Uh, I, I'm going to stand up and, and be partly responsible, and the OEMs, obviously, that we're working with, they feel that because it's their notebook as well, they're partly responsible. Um, and if anybody else volunteers to be responsible, I'm happy to invite uh, <laughs> uh, you to, to, uh, to be part of that. Um, but but um, I don't need to wait for anybody else. You know, I was the first one to say it. Hey, I'm responsible. Who, who's testing turned out the problem in the first place? Um, consumers. As it turns out, as it turns out, it took a long, long time to make it fail. And it took us, it took us um, months on months on months to even figure out a way to make it fail in the lab. And even now, it's, it's an extraordinary challenge. It just takes a long time. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a functionality problem. And um, uh, it's not detectable as shipping. Uh, it's, a, it's a reliability problem that happens in a very unique situation.